If you made a list of the top physics toys, Euler's disc would be right near the top, if not at the very top. If you're not familiar with it, it's just a heavy disc, metal disc. It's on a uh, mirrored surface that's concaved. Now, to start it, you just do this, this motion. But I don't want to just show you the standard Euler's disc video. There's dozens of them on YouTube, maybe even a hundred. I want to understand what's happening here. So, I have this little uh, disc here. The way Euler's disc moves is the following. What's of interest is the axis that goes from the center to the point of contact. Now, when I start it, it does this. It rotates. It rotates about this axis. So the contact point changes. Then it rotates about that, and so on and so on. So the rotation causes this rotation axis precesses around the circle here. This is different than when you look at a, a spinning top or a gyroscope. In that case, the axis you're interested in is the one that's perpendicular. It's rotating, and that axis recesses. This is different. The axis is actually along here. The rotation is like this. It's rolling on the surface. The sound that you hear is that contact point moving on that surface. Now, when we actually look at the disc, it's also spinning. So it's rolling, but it's also spinning. So if I mark one of the axes like this, we actually see this going around. So that's what we see. What we hear is the contact point going around. So on this video, we're going to show you both the precession frequency and the frequency at which the face rotates. Now, when it starts off, it's rolling like this, almost upright. Those two frequencies are the same. But as it slowly falls, because it loses energy, the precession frequency increases while the rotational frequency of the face decreases. So that's what we're going to first look at. So we're going to start this now, take a look. As you can see, the precession frequency is increasing the frequency of the face is decreasing, quite dramatically. Now, in terms of the energy, how do you get the energy? Well, the energy is quite simple to get. Because that will depend on the distance the center of the disc is from the surface. Now, it's not just gravitational potential energy, because it's also moving. But when you do the calculation, you find out that that rotational energy just adds another 50% to the gravitational potential energy. So by measuring the height, we can determine what the energy of the disk is. And so you can see how the energy is dropping. 